Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's, he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money, too? No, I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The meat boy said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan? What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Hmm. Not quite what I'm looking for. Where shall we wander today? These tracks would be so much nicer with trains.
Tell it to the Marines. Lovely to see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. look brighter in the morning. If you find fresh fruit or veg, don't wait too long. Flight turn. I wish I'd died in the bombings. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's not yams they worship. They... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Oh, I think we should all eat it. Just cut it up into tiny bits and each have a taste. Even a tiny little squidge would heal us. No, please! No, don't kill me! My God. They're gonna cut his heart out. I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, look. They're drinking out of a chalice. Hear the words of the no, old one. Please, no, whose names don't kill are me. secret and may not be said. Whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my glinfidel, even save me, no, save me, please. please. me for the posh girls in year seven. Thank 
Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up. You mustn't trust strangers, Eddie. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. You saved him. I wish I had. I love that lad. He's one of the best people I know. Yeah. He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain, I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a General's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. Clean lines, beautiful woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save any, keep it. You'll need it more than I do. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a thirsty pirate, would you? I feel smarter about boats already. When is Arthur getting that cod liver oil? Maybe he's got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our... Playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going. Like we're all just pawns on a chessboard. The war's over. Why didn't they send them back? Adversity builds character, right? We must have lovely characters about now. Man. 
men. We are the stuffed men. You can have your cake and then eat it too. Where's the paradox? You won't get away with this, Dr. Verloc. Everyone is talking I've come to stop your evil happen. scheme. <laughs> You've fallen into my evil trap. What's going on? I can't move. Yeah. I thought I'd pop in to see what's new. Yes, Mr. Croker. It's my paralyzing ray. But wait. Here's Peachy Conahan with his special operations executive hangar on. He reflects your paralyzing ray. And the weather report is rain, rain, go away, come back again some other day. <laughs> Remember, gentlemen, while rainwater goes down... Oedipus didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> also, extremely unlikely, unless someone's happy face falls off. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I don't think they've quite got the hang of ambushing people.
Am I my brother's keeper? Am I? As easy as unhooking a bra. Now I can come back whenever I like. Oh, I've got to learn to give up some possessions, or I'm not going to win a race with a garden snail.
Well, that's enough for being here. Glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. through those holes in the barbed wire. Not a good place to sleep, then. At least I can still use the hatch to get onto the Wellington undertracks. I can't tell if Mrs. Witherington is preggers or just fat. Don't use that word, it's horrible. Her husband is a prisoner of war, but she goes everywhere with Lieutenant Olbricht. Maybe she's just eating extra rations. Anyway, we'll know in a few months, won't we? You can't tell either way. That dress is so baggy. That's enough of that, Sully Boyle. You're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad in my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? 
I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um, sorry. Here. Let's go together. We're two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? It's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, that, that, that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> it's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. Arthur? Arthur? Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. At least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. Hello. Let's have a look at you. Well, you're in tip top shape, aren't you? You were so pleased you survived the Garden District. Toodaloo. Aztecs of Mexico. 
You like to cut a man's heart out while he was still beating. I feel like a mule carrying all this. And just about as fast, too. is perfectly horrid. I know. But it will help you fight those nasty measles. And that is everything. We're gonna see the world, darling. We're gonna leave this awful place and go wherever we want. Just as soon as you're feeling better. All right. I know a thing or two about the general. I hope Dr. Faraday can make me one I can carry. Tim milk tastes like a razor's, but you don't know any better, do you? Well, at least it's healthy. What kind of bedtime story would you tell me? What do you think all day long while you're lying there waiting for me to come back? Do you know all the secrets? Or are you just thinking that you have a poopy nappy and the ceiling is full of cracks? Too bright and shiny, Sally.
you really... Bring out the best in us. Oh dear. Oh, shut it up. I hope she's not gone on holiday. Annie's pretty neat, isn't she? Oh, this again. It was months ago. I was only dancing. Well, she turned you off. Someone's inside, obviously. I was only dancing. Do you want it up? Don't get me wrong, I was only dancing. I was watching from the stairs. James. You're everyone that ever cared. Oh, sweet Jesus, you have a way with words. She turned me on, but I was only dancing. Come on, I, I know you're in Won't there. You dance James! With me? Roger, it's Please. Sally Boyle. 
Oh, Sally! What are you doing here? Roger! Roger, it's Sally Boyle! Where's Dr. Faraday? Is she all right? I'm afraid she died. There was an explosion. For fuck's sake, James. It's Sally Boyle. She, she's not here. She, she died. James! She said she died in the explosion. Oh, fuck! She's right upstairs. Roger! Dr. Faraday? It's Sally Boyle. Dr. Faraday? James said you're alive. I suppose three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. You're hiding in your own house. I don't like people. They want things. Disturbs my thought processes. That's a shame. I rather like people. I used to have the most beautiful collection of records. Help me tune everyone out. But all my records blew up with my house. What brings you here? Who do you listen to? I'm sort of embarrassed to admit it, but... The make -believes. The early stuff, before Nick sold out. The unicorn song? That's my favourite. I had a rather brilliant formula in my head the last time I had it on. See, I've been trying to make a sort of portal. No matter. I lost the idea when I lost the record. I know where our copy is. I think I could get it for you. Really? I know if I heard that song, I'd remember my idea. That's how my brain works. Could you make me a motor for a Bristol pilot? Boat motor? I've had sneezes more complicated than a boat motor. I thought you were here for something difficult. Ah, sure. You bring me the unicorn song and I'll make you a boat motor. The unicorn song. That awful song. I bet the only person in Wellington Wells who hasn't burned their record is Nick himself. I can't believe how many times he made me listen to it. Or at least we were on drugs. He'd never part with it. On the other hand, he's passed out half the time I come by. I'll just sneak in while he's sleeping. Where did I leave the key card he gave me? It's in that suitcase I brought to the Bobbies. Why the hell did I leave it there?
if I'm very, very lucky, you won't wet while I'm changing your nappy. It's a little game, isn't it? Now's my chance to get mummy soggy and stinky. You're tired, aren't you? Mummy's so tired you could cry too. Did you know that? Why don't you close your lovely eyes? The girl needs her beauty sleep. Wouldn't you like to have some lovely dreams? Mummy could really use some lovely dreams. They're really good.